Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to assemble the LG Cord Zero A9 vacuum. This will be a super easy tutorial, so let's get right into the video. I'm going to be going in front of the camera and behind the camera to show you exactly how to assemble it. So right now I'm going to flip my screen so I can see exactly what you see, and I'm going to get in front of the camera over here. Now basically, I just took my LG Cord Zero A9 vacuum out of the box, and I'm going to show you how to assemble it, and literally, I, I literally, sorry about that, I literally just took it out of the box. So, you know, this is how you're going to find yours when you remove it from the box. Now, you can mount it to the wall, there are a few different things you can do with it, but I'm going to be doing this in terms of a freestanding assembly. So, let's go ahead, I'm going to move this stuff just slightly to the side, and I'm probably going to assemble it right over here, because I do have a power outlet right above this area, so just make it a little bit easy to do so. So you're going to start off with the base. As you can see right here, it's a nice weighted base to keep it nice and on the ground. Okay, you're going to place the base just like that. Very simple and straightforward. Next up, what we're going to do is we're going to look for this piece right here, which is sort of like a hollow, like a hollow metal piece, okay? And it has this indentation on the side here. And the indentation lines up with the indentation on the base. So I'm going to place this piece right here just like this. And we're going to go, we're going to place it in place just like this over here. Okay, uh, maybe I have to turn it around and see what's going on here. There we go. So I'm gonna, there we go, perfect. So I placed it in place. I'm not sure if I have to turn it around. I think I just have to put a little bit more uh, pressure, okay? Um, but obviously, you know, use your own judgment. I'm gonna move this camera up so you can continue seeing what I'm doing over here. So right now we have the base and we have this piece right here. And then on top of this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this piece right here, which is actually the piece that the vacuum will mount onto, okay? So what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna slide this. There's a part at the back that connects with this part over here with the same type of indentation. So once again, I'm gonna take this and we're gonna slide it on top and down in place just like that, okay? So right now we have actually placed this on top. Let's see if the camera is good. We're pretty good. I'm gonna move it up just a touch, just so you can see. I apologize if you see like any clothes, any like drying clothes anywhere. This is my laundry room. So it, I don't think there's anything. There's just some hats and mittens and uh, scarves over there. But if you catch a glimpse, you know, don't worry so much about it. Okay, now inside of here, there's actually a port for um, one of the batteries because the uh, Port Zero A9 vacuum comes with two batteries. So you can take one of those batteries and place it in here. Now obviously it lines up, you'll see like there's, you know, obviously it looks like, an, like a plug type of thing. So it only, it basically lines up, you know, according to the shape of it and according to where the plug is. You can place that battery in there, just like that, it snaps into place. You can remove it like this. There's a little, a little, uh, like a little lever over there, but it, it can be placed in just like that. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually assemble the vacuum. So what we have here is the main component of the vacuum, okay? Um, now essentially, we have the main component of the vacuum over here, um, and the same thing follows in terms of the battery. You can see that there's a spot for the battery over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my battery and I'm gonna place it um, directly over in here which is this location right here. Once again, I'll line it up and it only goes in in one way, so just like that. So I've now placed the battery there. Now, this is where your actual suction is gonna come from, uh, over here at the front. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this uh, longer type of hose, okay? And we're gonna place it into there, and uh, essentially, I believe it goes this way, yeah. So what you're doing is, and I'll bring it close to the camera, you're lining up this part right here with this part over here. Now this is my first time assembling it, so if I make a mistake, you're gonna have to bear with me. I think I have to turn it around like this, as far as I know. Um, and you can see there are these uh, little uh, connectors right here, and they're gonna line up with uh, the connectors down over here, right, the openings over there. So I'll just go ahead and uh, line it up and click it in place like that. So we now have that in place. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach one of the uh, brush heads to the bottom over here of where the vacuum will actually do the vacuuming. So I'm just gonna pick uh, this brush head just to be simple. So I'm gonna take the brush head and it lines up, like I said, look at the connectors and look at the piece that, the release mechanism, which is right over here, okay? And line it up properly, clip it in place, okay? So essentially now what we can do is we can take our vacuum and we can actually place our vacuum in place. Um, so in order to do that, I'll turn this sideways just to show you 
Um, you have to go ahead and you can slide it. So I'm just going to try and do this on camera. So I'm, I'm placing it in place here and I'm sliding it down just like that. I actually, <laughs> I actually hit one of the attachments, which I'll do in a second. So I'll show you one more time, okay? So I'm taking the vacuum over here, okay? I'm placing it in place, okay? Once it's in place and lined up, then I can slide it down. Okay, you're like kind of like sliding down in a dropping type of motion. Now underneath here, there are these two little pieces over here, which you can use to mount the accessory. So I'm going to take this, one of the accessories, just like that. The clicker, the release mechanism goes in one spot, okay? Just like that. Really cool. I know, it's really cool. Uh, and lastly, I have another brush head over here. I also have an extra filter over here because it comes with a filter in there already. Um, lastly, we're going to go and connect the charging port, um, which is, you know, this obviously, I'm going to raise up the camera just a bit um, so you can see what's going on over here, just like that. So this essentially plugs into a uh, wall outlet over here, okay, just like that. And then uh, this end over here is going to plug into the back of your um, stand, okay, your vacuum stand, I'll call it. So if you look at the back right here, you can see that there's a spot to plug it in over here. Very simple and straightforward, plug it in. Okay, and what we have now is we have a completely assembled LG um, Core Zero A9 stick vacuum station. Okay, as you can see, you see with the lights over here that it's illuminated, so we know everything's working fine. That's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment, and of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.